and it is Axel Grave and I am back with more reactions with an ex super happy to continue giving you great trailers for those who don't know every Sunday live on stream to end the stream we go and check out trailers either suggested to us by fans or posted in our discord whichever one catch our attention first and today we're doing spider-man no way home the official trailer before I guess it was like a teaser I don't know you know how those things work they put out three or four trailers now and honestly the movies less than a month away at this point it's already past thanksgiving so yeah at this point any more than this will just be putting out the movie <laughs> but i'm excited to see it i have seen a couple spoilers so i do know a couple of things that are going to happen but in general i have not seen this trailer so i'm excited to see what they're going to bring for us and i'm hoping that everybody at home enjoys watching if you do remember to hit that like button comment subscribe do all the great things you do and, uh, you know, maybe check out all our other content on Patreon or live on Twitch every Sunday where you can come watch these with us. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I'm excited and I hope you are too. Oh, don't look. They always do this. No, no. Okay, now I can watch because now's the... Oh, he looked fucked up, boy. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week. I like how they had... One week. That week felt normal? How did that week feel normal? That's my question. Oh. Badly botched. Okay, yeah. We knew. We knew that. Oof. Wow, look at the suit there, though, bro. Yeah, we've already got Melina. Hello, Peter. Oh, wow. Woo! You're not Peter Parker. Woo! You're not Peter Parker. Damn. What's your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? There are others out there. We need to send them back. So... Scooby do this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple magic words myself, starting with the word please. Uh, actually, Scooby do this crap. As I say, I, I don't know about all that. Those are enemies coming after you guys. Yeah, Sandman and Electro. They die fighting Spider Man. Yep, then he's fighting Strange. Bad idea. Woo! Wow, that's such good writing, honestly. Yes! Bro! Bro! I no fucking way. And the lizard. Oh my god, bro. And the suit and everything. Holy shit, bro. That is actually so well written. They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. Uh oh, the multi. This is what's gonna lead into. M oh, bro, you guys, you guys don't get it. It, it's literally leading. Like, oh, their writing is so good, bro. I, I like. I always hear people. They're like, oh, the Marvel. Like, on the chat forums, and it's always, always gotta be some shit starting from the DC guys. Every single time. I'm in mean, dozens and dozens of forums and stuff. It's always. Oh, bro, bro, bro. And I'm just like, look, man, they're 20 plus movies in the box office is ridiculous. The the public reception is insane. Critically speaking, the writing is so unique in one time. Like, once again, there is no other thing like this. There is no other thing like the MCU. There are things that are kind of like it nothing close and the, the way they keep one-upping themselves the way they continually write well into new movies 
even with the two year break on COVID, they still kept TV shows and other things popping. I cannot for the life of me think of anybody that's doing it as good. There's just no question in my head that this progression, the way it's written, like, all right, so why it's so impressive, right? You could write any reason to make Spider-Man fight these characters and you could write any reason for Spider-Man to fight Strange, but to write reasons that are in character match with prior movies, right? And, he, and he's right. Every single person on that list dies fighting Spider-Man in the previous movies. Uh, except I think one, but for the most part, they all die, and it really does make sense that Peter doesn't want to get them killed if he can help it. Like, there's so much good writing, and I'm, it sucks a little bit that they, I watched it because it pulls the plot, but it makes me so much more excited for the Multiverse of Madness. This is a, this is a, this is honestly not in the same style, but this could be a similar kind of thing to the end of Endgame and Loki, where it is not a, a good ending, right? Where they end it and it's like, hey, Spider-Man and Strange failed and the multiverse broke and that's what leads into Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness and then all the other stuff. Bro, and, and obviously they could still fuck it all up. I just don't see how this movie, even if they botched the shit out of it, would be anything less than a fun watch, would be anything less than a good story because of the presets, because of pulling it all together. Like, it, it just is absolutely looking amazing and i am so excited for it i hope you guys are as well but if you're not let me know why let me know what you think of all the different spider-man stuff going on and you know if you think my opinion's wrong feel free to tell me why but if you don't have a good reason i'm probably not going to pay attention to anything you say so <laughs> pretty easy there thank you guys for watching and as always i'm axel grave this has been reactions with an x we'll see you next time for more trailers